the new Constitution River Terminal is nearing completion. So says Director of the Barbados Transport Authority, Alex Linton. He, however, declined to give an exact opening date after transport officials and police toured the area on Thursday. We did encounter some challenges which was technical in nature that we needed to obviously resolve first. Um, you can appreciate we will not open a terminal that is unsafe for the public or for the administration officers that utilize the structure. So um, I would say closer, closer now and shortly we should see the change around in traffic flows and utilization of this terminal. I don't want to give an exact date because there are still some things that need our attention at this time. It was brought to my attention that the opening is on Tuesday, is that correct? There is going to be a ceremony that is going to be held on Tuesday. Um, to basically, the minister is going to be there talking and I will let him speak on that um, in the future. But we will be looking at, as I say, within the next couple of weeks, be down here on the ground, rubbing shoulders with the people, with the operators, with the commuters, and trying to give the best service to all Barbadians. Could you remind us what the features of this terminal will be again? Yes, when this terminal is open, we will have camera technology um, 360 around the building and within the building. So we'll be able to monitor closely uh, what is going on on the ground. Um, we will also have the police outpost, the customer service for the customers. We will have two areas of waiting for commuters. Um, one closer to where they will embark on buses and one where they can relax a little bit more within the old railroad building. On the first floor, there will be transport authority and that office will be manned um, to obviously take care of any issues on the ground. But at the same token, we'll be looking at all PSPs and not only the public transport, transport board buses, minibuses, etc., but also like the hire cars, taxes and all that from that office at this location. Mr. Linton said personnel at the new facility will be making sure public service vehicles are in good working order and that operators are properly attired.